Three barn owl chicks have just hatched in Elm Stump Nest, and they're all looking healthy. Viewers of my channel named them Freya, Griffin and Fern. There's eight days between the eldest and the youngest owlet, so there's already quite a size difference. Male barn owls hunt and provide all the food for the new family. And Finn's doing a great job, bringing in plenty of rodents. Female barn owls are in charge of feeding the youngsters, and Gilfie carefully tears the food into small manageable pieces for the chicks. And when Gilfie leaves, you can really see how the chicks are developing. The eldest, Freya, is now two weeks old and already capable of swallowing prey whole. And she's starting to explore the nest. While the youngest fern can barely lift its head up. Even though there's such a difference between the chicks, I'm confident all three owlets are healthy. Neighbouring tawny owls Bomber and Luna have a nest nearby. And their chicks fledged well over a month ago. They're exploring the trees near to Elm Stump. And Finn isn't too pleased about this. Gilfie comes to the entrance to see what the fuss is about. They're very protective of their owlets. The following morning, Fern flaps her wings for the first time. A big milestone for the youngest chick. The bond between these siblings grows more as they get older. Allopinion is a great sign of this. And Gilfie joins in too. Gilfie's making sure all the chicks are well fed, still providing small chunks to Griffin and Fern. While Freya picks up what's left, then swallows it whole. Now that the owl chicks are between three and four weeks old, they're able to thermoregulate. This means they can manage their own body temperature and won't need Gilfie to keep them warm. Both adult owls spend more time in nearby nests. And the chicks are spending more time alone, exploring this large hollow, standing, stretching, and flapping. At around a month old, eldest chick Freya is starting to get a bit feisty with Gilfie. And 
then Finn. Although there's food in the nest, these owlets still need the food handed to them. Finn gets the message and passes food to the young owls. At around a month old, the feathers are starting to come through. And that recognisable barn owl facial disc is taking shape. They also start to practice key skills they'll need for hunting. Spotting, pouncing, and grabbing. In July, a heat wave arrives in Yorkshire. The landscape changes dramatically. And my ponds become a lifeline for many species. But when Finn doesn't turn up at the nest the following day, I start to get worried and head out in search of him. It's quite common for wildlife to get attracted to water troughs in this hot weather, so I'm going to go and check them out. Oh no, there's an owl in the trough here, and he's drowned. Yeah, and it is Finn, I can tell by his ring number. And the really annoying thing for me is I've made so many water troughs around here safe by putting breeze blocks in them or crates and I've obviously missed this trough. This is absolutely devastating, not only for the owl family, but for me and many of my viewers, absolutely tragic. So there's nothing I can do to save Finn now, but I can make this water trough safe and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Finn was brought to me in 2019 by Jean Thorpe, who rescued him and his sibling. They were put with another set of sibling owls and brought here for a release. I placed them in elm stump, giving them all the best chance of a life in the wild. Which paid off, he fledged and stuck around. Pairing up with Gilfie and having three clutches. It's been amazing watching him thrive after having such a poor start in life. Finn will certainly be missed. He was such a special owl. Gilfie and Finn's eldest owl at Freya is only 41 days old. So even she's a couple of weeks off fledging. So in spite of my sadness, I focus on helping Gilfie get these chicks to independence. So with a little help from me, from Gilfie. And some sibling love. They should be just fine. And there's no complaints from Griffin. Next time, Jean and I fit their identification rings in preparation for fledging and watch as Gilfie courts a new male barn owl with an interesting past. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.